Abolitionist from 1820 to 1860. What is an abolitionist? An abolitionist is a person that wants to abolish something. During the 1800s in the United States, people started to believe that slavery was getting out of hand and that something about it should be done. However, the country simply couldn't just abolish slavery because the economy was relying upon it so heavily. Many people still wanted for slaves to be freed and for slavery to be abolished. People who illegally helped slaves escape slavery are those who are most famously known as abolitionists. Why were abolitionists so important? Many abolitionists strung together to fight slavery and created the American Anti-Slavery Society, or AASS. This is important because having an actual organization motivated many Americans to join the organization and fight slavery who were scared to come out and fight slavery prior. Abolitionists are also important because they didn't care how reliant the economy was on slavery. They wanted a drastic and complete erase of slavery on U.S. soil. Many abolitionists helped to abolish slavery in many ways and some of which are fellows. David Walker David Walker was an African-American abolitionist born on September 28, 1796 into an enslaved North Carolina. He was free because of the freedom of his mother, although his father was enslaved. He taught himself to read and write as a teenager and used what he learned to publish several books about what he experienced while enslaved and why slavery should be abolished. Frederick Douglass Frederick Douglass was another African-American abolitionist that was born into an enslaved Maryland in 1818. Douglass had escaped from slavery and traveled to states such as Massachusetts and New York as a young adult. Here, he became leaders of many anti-slavery committees and organizations, as well as becoming a well-known public speaker. He spoke often about how he lived in slavery and how he wanted all African Americans to be freed like him. William Lloyd Garrison William Lloyd Garrison was a Caucasian Quaker who was born on December 10, 1805. Garrison was an abolitionist who wanted to end slavery with as little violence as possible and thus began an anti-slavery newspaper as well as several organizations opposing slavery. Garrison wanted slavery abolished now because, not because he lived through it, rather just because he thought it was wrong. Henry Highland Garnett Henry Highland Garnett was an African-American abolitionist who was born on December 23, 1815, into slavery in Maryland. He escaped slavery as a teenager and sought after to free his friends and family back on his plantation. He became a minister and prayed to God for the abolition of slavery. He was very outspoken against slavery in his teachings, and the plantation that he did live on was abolished when the owners went bankrupt. Harriet Tubman Harriet Tubman is a very famous abolitionist that was born in 1820 into slavery in Maryland. Tubman escaped slavery and famously returned back to various plantations to help what some people say could be anywhere from 75 to 300 slaves using the other ground railroad, a passageway of abolitionist safe homes and houses to the north. Garrett Smith Garrett Smith was a Caucasian abolitionist born on March 6, 1797 in Utica, New York. Of all abolitionists, Smith had to be one of the most powerful and rich to take place. He had a spot in the U.S. House of Representatives and was very, and was a very rich man. He helped to fight slavery by using his power and money to openly speak out against slavery and to pay for many safe houses used by slaves on the Underground Railroad. Henry Walton Bibb Henry Walton Bibb was born on May 10, 1815 in Kentucky. He was enslaved until he escaped from slavery at the age of 15 to Canada. He then came back to the United States to write several books and autobiographies and to be an open abolitionist writing for the Voice of the Fugitive newspaper. Sojourner Truth Sojourner Truth was born in 1797 in New York. She was sold into slavery as a toddler but escaped as a young adult. She was a very good speaker and gave several speeches on how she was molested as a teen on a plantation and that the, owner, and that the owners didn't care about anyone but themselves. She was a very passionate speaker and abolitionist. In conclusion, slavery was a big part of the United States economy because cotton was responsible for so much of the economy's revenue. However, many people felt that slavery was still wrong and still wanted to be abolished. These people were abolitionists. Abolitionists wanted for the abolition of slavery as a whole and were not going to stop until they got it. Different abolitionists were from different places in all walks of life, but all had one common goal. Many abolitionists for slower slavery's abolition. Many abolitionists died before slavery's abolition, but eventually all their hard work of those mentioned and many others paid off as slavery was abolished by the 13th Amendment on December 6, 1865.